This tutorial will show you how to create geometry tools in ZBrush and use them with a hobby. Start by creating a cylinder 3D and initializing it with the following parameters. V divide 6, H divide 10, and Y size 50. Next, convert the polycylinder to polymesh 3D. Isolate the middle segment of the cylinder and delete the hidden polygons. Switch to double-sided polygon display to confirm that the cylinder is open on both ends. Now you can create an insert mesh brush. Create a polysphere and convert it to polymesh 3D. Enable curve mode for the brush. Set the repel strength value to 1 to orient the root segment along the normal of the sphere. Adjust the plane of the size parameter to make the tube thinner at the tip. Lower the depth parameter of the brush placement so that the control curve is at the center of the tube. Turn off tripods and enable weld points. You can now draw hair tubes on the sphere. To control the shape of the tube, you can edit the curve or use the bend curve modifier. Separate the hair tubes from the sphere. Use Ctrl plus Shift plus left mouse button on the sphere to hide it and select split hidden. Export the hair tubes using the MA format. Open the export file in Maya. Convert the geometry from polygons to subject, then convert the subject to nerves. In the viewport, select the hair tubes. Click Delete History and group the tubes by pressing Ctrl G. Move the group to the root and delete any unnecessary nodes. Assign any material to get rid of the green color. Rebuild the surfaces to make it less dense. Create a hoggy hair on the selected surfaces. It appears that the U and V directions are incorrect. To fix this issue, rebuild the surfaces by swapping the U and V directions. The color turns black because the normals are pointing inward. Swap the U direction of the surface to correct this. Increase the number of hairs per two and make additional adjustments to achieve the desired look. Add some lighting. Start Arnold GPU render. Oops, the shader is missing. Create an AI standard hair shader and assign it. Tweak the shader as needed. Now you've become a badass hair tube expert. Go unleash your creativity and create some crazy hairstyles.